Hi everyone. Thank you so much for joining me today. I feel like I've been gone forever. I hope you like that little introduction that was taken at Washington. That's where I was at, at Wig Studio One headquarters in Richfield, Washington. Eileen, crazy wig lady, her daughter, Sydney, uh, Raquel was there, uh, the direction of client services. We had, and of course, Carrie and McKinsey who work in returns and customer service. It was just amazing uh, getting together with these ladies during our trip. We did a lot of bonding, a lot of laughing, a lot of work. Those of you that follow us that are members of our Facebook group, Wig Studio One, Wig and Topper Support Group, you probably saw our lives and our Ask the Expert. We had three days of so much fun uh, recording those. And I'm sure you saw lots of giveaways there. So if you're not a member of a Facebook group, I hope you come on over and join us. It really is a lot of fun. We're already planning our next meet. If you stay towards the end of the video, I'm going to add some clips and some pictures from our trip to Washington for those of you that are interested and would like to see some of the pictures and some of the videos. We went to wine tasting, kind of, uh, with, that's what we had our team building. It was amazing, absolutely amazing. It was just the managers this time, the department heads for each of uh, the different departments at Wix Studio One. And next time it'll be open to everyone. So I hope you come on over to our Facebook group so you could join us there and see all the fun that we have. The full recordings are on the Wig Studio One uh, Wig and Topper Support Group private Facebook group. The replays are there. Today I've got a brand new style so I am so happy to be back and be showing this to you. This is Harlow by Noriko in a brand new color, new color, new style. Harlow is new and so is the color Brown Sable. We needed a cool color in the Noriko line, a cool brunette. And this is definitely a cool brunette. If you like 10RH16 from John Brunel, you will absolutely love Brown Sable. We have a medium brown and then we have a neutral medium brown. Then we have cool, cool light brown highlights. And they're not, there's not an abundance and they're not gold highlights. They're light, cool, light brown. And the nice thing also is that they did it framing the face. I think the color is absolutely stunning. It's raining today. It is raining cats and dogs. So I'm not going to be able to show it to you in the sun, but I did take some clips when I was, I was just recording it for the Wig Studio One channel. And I did take some clips inside next to the sunny window and right outside my door even though it's cloudy you could still see the you could still see the color this style surprised me when i saw a wig studio one sent it to me to review for the wig studio one youtube channel and i have fallen in love with it it is beautiful i didn't think i was going to like it as much as i do because it does have a basic cap and i prefer full monos i prefer lace fronts However, this one is really, really nice. If you are familiar with Noriko, you know their fibers are beautiful. They are long lasting. They, they just feel amazing and they're workhorses. So you could wear one of these Norikos every day and you know, I don't think you'll have any problems with it. Um, even though we have a basic cap, well, we do have permatease. I'm not going to say there's no permatease. There is permatease on this dark color. I don't think you could see it as much. It has those uh, little return hairs. I just mess it up, honestly. I just kind of mess it up with my fingers. I mess it up with a wide tooth comb and just kind of break it up a little. But if you like volume, if you like your uh, hair a little bit um, more poofy, if you will, I think you will love it. I don't think that there is such an abundance that you wouldn't like it if even if you're not a Permatease fan. I am not a big Permatease fan and I think this is beautiful. I will be keeping this one because I love the color and I love the style. Harlow weighs almost five ounces, yet I don't feel it heavy and I feel the density is on the higher end of average, but I don't 
feel it so much so. I mean, I've had other wigs that have had such a high density that I haven't been able to wear them. I think this is perfect. However, with the sizing, I have a 21 and a half inch circumference and I feel that it fits me just fine. I don't think that anyone higher with a circumference higher than a 21 and three quarters will be able to fit into this one. I didn't cinch it in. I didn't alter it in any way. It, this is how it, it came. I bought it in a plastic bag because I couldn't bring it in a box. It was shipped over to the Wix Studio One headquarters. But anyway, I think it is beautiful. You have, my face is seven, seven and three quarters from hairline to chin. We have seven and a half. So very close to the front. This is really nice because it, it gives you those face framing layers. We have a crown of 11 inches. The nape is 9.4 inches. And as I mentioned, it weighs almost five ounces, 4.7 to five ounces. I think it is a gorgeous, gorgeous piece. Can I say that enough? When I show you the cap, you'll see that there are fibers coming from the, from the ear tabs. So you could even leave a little bit of, of fibers hanging down and then tuck it behind your ears. I think it has really nice coverage. Um, here is the ear tab and here is my hairline, which is the way it is on all the wigs. It's not just because it's Norico. So I just, what I do with uh, styles like this, and you could really see my hairline, I just match my hair color, my roots. I match it to the wig, and then I just leave a little bit of strands hanging down. You could wear it with a headband. You could put it up and a half up, half down. Perfect style if you just want to have a long piece where you could do a few things with it. I think this is perfect. We don't have heat friendly fibers. These are traditional fibers. I think it's perfect for casual wear, for, uh, for an evening out if you do want to do an updo with it. Really, really pretty. This style is really for someone who doesn't care for the lace front or who doesn't mind not having a lace front because you can wear it totally off your face. But if you like to have a little side swept, that's enough. I, I personally, I love a lace front and I think that I don't have any problem with this one at all. If you like a little bit more volume, if you don't mind some permatees, you will also love this style. It's also a real throw and go piece because I just took it out of the box. I just shook it and, and um, uh, loosened up some of those uh, uh, permatease fibers up there and it's fine. It doesn't feel exceptionally pillowy to me. I mean, it does feel obviously a little pillowy because there is permatease there, but I don't think it's, I don't think it's an abundance. I think it's just what's needed. All right, let's take a walk outside so you could see this color in the gloomy Florida weather. And uh, then I'll show you the cap and I'll come back. I'm inside right now. I really wanted to show it to you in the sunlight, but it is pouring out. So hopefully you'll be able to get a good look at this color. It is absolutely gorgeous for all my friends that love a cool brunette. Okay, as you can see, we have a basic cap. It does feel pillowy there, but I think after you put it on, it doesn't feel as pillowy. Felt covered ear tab with the fibers coming through, a non-extended nape and pull type adjusters. We have a little bit of stretch, but honestly, I really don't feel that it will fit above a 21 and three quarters. Thank you, everyone. If you want to see the pictures from Washington, any of the little clips, I'm going to add them here at the end. If not, 
Thank you so much for visiting with me. I hope that everyone is having a fantastic day and I will see you next time. Bye.